Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I'm going to show you observers in Laravel. Observer, so is like you can find similarly like when someone is observing you continuously, he will be watching you what you are doing, updating, creating, it will watch your all activities what you are doing. So observer is same like that in Laravel. So let's get started. So that's the view I have created. You can see I'm having one view for task add. Here you can use title and description to add our task. Now let's go to DB, Laravel tutorial I'm using. And inside that one table is there that is task table. So let's go to this table. And here you can see one task is created that I have just created from my view. So here you can see one column that is task slug that is null here. So Let's say observer, using observer we will be filling this column. Slug is basically URL that you create for every task. So let me show you code now. So in web.php you can see base URL is going to task controller index function. And in index function I'm loading my view, so that is task.blade. And inside that you can see I'm having one form with title and description. And on submit, I'm submitting using Ajax. So you can see in Ajax, it's going to save task form. And this save task form is going to task controller store function. So let's go to the store function. And here you can see I'm getting all the input fields and I'm just inserting in task. So now let's get started with creating observer. So let's uh, write command for that. PHP artisan make observer and observer name. So here it will be task observer. So here you can see after model there is one new folder that is observers created and inside that one task observer is there. But it's just a class. There is no method inside that. So you can create observers using model as well. So let me just delete it and show you that. So write same command with the option model and here model is task. Let's open task observer file here you can see created, updated, deleted, restored, so force deleted. So, so all these are type of observers that you can use in your project. There are other observers as well like created, creating is there. Updating is there, saving, saved, or restoring, retrieved. So all these other observers are also there. So let's use created observer. So here we will be changing task slug. So here we are getting model of task. So whichever we are creating. So we will be getting that model here. So we can directly use task and task slug we are having. So in that I'm going to fetch title and I'm going to just replace any space or there or so here we will be using string slunk and after that let's uh, save this task so this created observer will be called after your task is created in db let me show you in db so this uh, column is null there so this will replace this slunk this will not be null anymore so now we have created our observer. So after that, we need to tell our Laravel project that the task need to be observed. So for that, we need event service provider. In this file, boot function inside that we will be defining that task model need to be observed. So in boot function, right? Firstly, you need model. So which model? So that is task here. And after that, call observe. Inside that, we need to pass our observer that using which class we need to observe. So that is task observer. Define it as a class here. You need to include this task and task observer both. So import. So now let's go to browser and uh, refresh. Let's add one more task here. So let's say second task and description. Let's say second test submit it and now let's go to db and now if i'll see you can see slug is added here it's not null and you can see it's having no spaces instead of spaces it's having hyphen so now let's add one more task let's say third task and in description as well right oh, let's say testing only submit now let's go to db and refresh 
so here you can see third task is also having slug so here observer is working fine after creating this it is updating our slug so one more thing we can do here is we can create one creating function this will be called before inserting into database so let's go and create creating and inside that let's so change task title so let's uh, change task uh, slug to task title and let's add a prefix to it so here i'll be getting task title and i'm going to add prefix let's say task and assigning back to task title so updated task title this one with prefix will go in db before we are updating before inserting so let's say for better understanding let me add logs to it so let's so uh, add log and uh, after that write info so after that write message task create again and the uh, last uh, let's say send data as well so task and pass this task variable and let's write after that as well so just write after let's so uh, add and created as well copy paste here before task created and after save write after task created so let's go to browser and here add one task so let's say my first uh, tutorial and in description let's say test tutorial submit and let's go to db so you can see in title task prefix is added and in task slug as well there is no space hyphen only so let's go to log laravel.log and here you can see first one task creating is executed here you can see my first tutorial here no prefix is there but after task creating prefix is there and the last one uh, created one so here you can see slug is added in after that first one task uh, slug is not there in second slug is there so that's how you can use observers in laravel if you have to create any logs also and if you have to manage activity then also you can use observers so it depends on your requirement how you will use it so if you have any doubt related to this topic then you can comment down in the comment section and in and in my next video i'll be showing you how you can update uh, using observers so that's all in this video i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching